Hi, this is Pam with Trade Edge Coding, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up study alerts that you can receive through text or email. Most of our indicators have some sort of audio alerts built in, which give you a quick ding sound when certain conditions are met. But the disadvantage with these is that they can't be used with push notifications to your phone, and you have to have a chart open in order to receive the alert. Study alerts allow you to set up the conditions you want to be alerted for ahead of time so that you can get text or email alerts even when you don't have Thinkorswim open. As an example, we'll set up an alert when price is inside of a supply zone and there is an RSI divergence at the same time, which is what happened right here. So the first thing you need to do is click the setup button in the upper right corner of Thinkorswim. It's on a different screen for me right now, so you can't see it, but it's in the upper right hand corner of the main Thinkorswim window. So you click setup and then application settings, and then it will bring up this window. Then click the notifications tab on the top. So this is where you choose what kind of notifications you want to get. You can enter your email here, or you can add a phone number here. Then over here, if you click alert is triggered, you can set up the type of notifications you can get. Email and SMS texts are grayed out for me because I didn't enter that information, but you'll be able to check those boxes if you put in your email address and or phone number. Once these settings are to your liking, the process for setting up study alerts is somewhat similar to the process for setting up conditional orders like we did in our last video. First, click on the price up here, and then click Create Alert. Then click right here where it says Mark, then click Study, then Edit. You can delete this condition. And now you can click here to add your own condition. In this dropdown, choose price. We'll say the high is greater than or equal to. Then over here, we'll choose study and we'll find the supply and demand study. For this, we're going to use the scan version of it. This is saying the high is greater than the lower supply line, which is this bottom line here and let's say within three bars. So that means this condition will be met as long as price was inside the supply zone during any of the last three bars. That's the condition for the supply zone. Now we'll add another condition for the RSI divergence. Click Add Condition again. In the dropdown, choose Study, and we'll find the RSI divergence study. And since we're looking for a downward move from supply, we'll choose bearish divergence. And in the middle, choose is true. Now that we have the conditions set up, we'll change this to all, since we want both conditions to be true. Then down here, once again, you can choose how you want to be alerted for these conditions. But again, I didn't put in my phone number, so it's grayed out. Once this is set up, you can click Create. Now, when these conditions are met again, we'll get an alert. So we'll know that Netflix is inside of a supply zone and there's a bearish RSI divergence. If you have any questions about this, please let us know. And thanks for watching.